I had the privilege of meeting Nicholas from he was a youngster. I was able to work with him through national championships where he won, traveled with him to the Caribbean Games where he was voted best boxer on two different occasions. So I was with him right from, you could say, the beginning of his career and watched him mature. After he finished his amateur career and decided to go professional, he and his father and I sat down and we discussed where he wanted to go. They said they had some contact, but they didn't have anything specific. So I spoke with Jack Deschamps, a good friend for many, many years, and he said that he would try out Nicholas over in Panama, where he has a trainer and some boxers. So he decided to take Nicholas for two weeks to go to his trainer, Celso Chavez, in Panama, so that Chavez could uh, take a good look at him and give an assessment. And within one week, he called me back and he said, Leroy, my trainer is very impressed and we are going to keep this youngster. So what they did is that they made him fight a couple of amateur bouts and then they said, look, it is time to go pro. And they nurtured his career, got good fights for him, gave him good coaching. They took him to the regional tournaments, the Ficar box tournaments, and he moved right on until he became world champion. In Jamaica, the sporting administrators, we are a voluntary bunch. And where we get our payback is when we see athletes like Nicholas Walters achieving the heights that they do.